Hey everyone, welcome to episode three. Thanks for tuning in to this week's training update. So the question is, did I do the Rafa Festive 500? And does it matter? Uh, before we jump in, if you wanna be a part of my 2023 cycling journey, subscribe to this channel, give the video a like, and if you have any questions or comments along the way, throw them in the comments section. Okay, so what is the Rafa Festive 500? It's a cycling challenge that Rafa started in 2010. The objective is to cycle 500 kilometers between December 24th and December 31st. Is it relevant? Does it matter? Look, it absolutely does. Any event matters and has relevance if it motivates you to go out, ride, and be active. That's ultimately what matters. Now, Rafa has done a great job with this. This year on Strava, over 230,000 people signed up and registered for this event. So it absolutely has a relevant space in the cycling community. It's a great way for you to close out your year or get your new year kicked off uh, strong. And then for most, this comes in the middle of all the holidays when it's really hard to maintain your fitness routine. And so this gives some people some motivation and extra drive to go out there and continue to cycle, stay active. Okay, so uh, did I do it? How does it fit into my training calendar? Uh, it was planned for me. Our coach put it in our training calendar, mainly through a series of just zone one, zone two rides throughout the week, um, endurance days. Now, I had personally just very little interest in the event. So I mixed up my days. I altered them a little bit. Here's a few things that I did. Um, Monday, I treated Monday like a free ride. I uh, went into Zwift, went KOM hunting, had some fun training really for the first time in a long time without a purpose. Um, I had so much fun actually on Monday that I did the exact same thing on Tuesday. Thursday, I had a two hour training block to do and I chose to mix that up a little bit. I added 30 second intervals every five minutes at over 500 watts. Uh, so I got some upper end effort work done there. Saturday was a big four hour endurance ride. I kept it strictly at that. I kept it strictly endurance. Four hours is a long time on a trainer. And a special shout out here to one of our 2023 team sponsors, Mad Alchemy. They're our chamois cream sponsors. Without you, that four hour ride would have been really tough. Their information is in the description of this video. Sunday, I felt really good after a pretty long week. And so I, I, I chose to repeat what I did on Thursday with those 30 second uh, intervals. The only difference was I lowered the watts a little bit. I went down to 400 to 465 watts throughout. So after all of that, did I complete the Festa 500? No, no, I did not. Um, I came close. I completed 487 kilometers. So it was 13 K off. Uh, I did 302.6 miles that week. Uh, does it bother me? Does it matter to me? Not really. Um, it was a fun and motivating event, but it's not a part of my plan. It's not part of my structure. Ultimately, I had a big training week. It was a big block, a uh, little over 15 hours, a little over 860 TSS, uh, and my overall fitness and training peak increased eight, eight points. So uh, it was a fantastic week of training, and I felt good all week long. I continued to get stronger and stronger. So Anyway, uh, that was this week. Uh, the week that we're in, uh, towards the end of the week, we have an FTP test. So in the next episode, I'll be sharing how that goes and how this year's FTP compares to last year's FTP so we can kind of gauge and talk about some progress that's made there. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, as always, get out there and ride Moss.